Oh, hey, all everybody. Welcome to the round table. This, this is an amazing round table. Today, we are joined. I'm Brett Harrelson, and it's really nice to see you guys here. I am uh, the, from the expert community, as most of you know. I'm joined today by Rob Rush, who is a product, Wix, Wix product manager of, of media. And uh, today... Oh, hey, all everybody. Welcome um, to the round table. Joined. I'm Brett Harrell. So, so really I've got a bit of a bleed. Hang on a second. I don't know how that's happening, Rob. So, so what I wanted to say is, Rob's here. Rob, tell us a little bit about what uh, Wix Media is. This is super exciting. Involved users media. So, this is Wix Music, Wix Video, um, the Media Manager, and uh, all of these kind of things. And so what we're talking about today is a vi new product, the Video Maker. It's, um, we posted about it in the experts group a couple of days ago. I know some of you tried it. It's basically a, a really easy tool to create video content based on whatever you want. Uh, they can be used to share on social media, can be used back on your website. It's a, it's a tool to basically take your media and mix it all in a pot and make it into a really nice looking video. Um, for whatever intent you have, whatever you can dream of, that's our goal at least. So we did we did have a bit of a beta with that earlier in uh, last week, which was phenomenal, and I'm sure a lot of experts have had uh, uh, an opportunity to get to play with it. But today we're going to have a sneak peek, and we're going to go a little more in depth, and I'm sure they have some questions for you, Rob. But before before we jump into this, Rob, sorry about that earlier. I had some kind of a weird feedback thing happening. It's all good. T tell tell me tell me why Wix video why what made you sort of embark on this path um good question so with uh, with wix we want to be able to empower users um basically to have a successful business uh online and offline and so you know we have things like uh the website obviously and the crm tools uh the contact forms there's more interactivity between the uh the users like the wix site owners and their clients and so one thing that we're focusing on is helping people uh, have better marketing materials and have better ways to promote themselves. We see a lot of people that make really beautiful sites or really have like amazing things to offer, but they're not getting traffic. They're not getting people to actually come through and visit their site. And um, we think that one of the, well, it's not just us, video advertising and video in social media is everywhere it's dominant so if you can post a little 30 second or 15 second video on instagram or on facebook um you're way more likely to drop traffic and drop interest uh you know it's a shareable little like nugget of media that we can send around um so we want to be able to do that with for our users and um an advantage that we have is that we we know what users are doing we know when they add products we know um you know, if they have like a, if they're a bookings user and they have services, we have all this information. So we're trying to take that information and bring it to another level and allow them to easily create kind of video messages about whatever their business is. I got you. I got you. So, so how long have you been working at Wix? I've been at Wix for uh, almost eight years, actually. Um, I've been all over the place. I'm living in Tel Aviv now and working here at the headquarters, but I started in San Francisco. Yeah, that's actually, uh, remember, that's where I met you. You were in San Francisco. That's right. That was that's awesome. Right. And then, uh, last, then the next time I saw you was, was in a restaurant in Tel Aviv where we shared a fantastic Negroni, which, by the way, by the way, that's the only cocktail that is both uh, uh, aperitif and a digestive. What a fantastic dream. Multi-purpose cocktails. So uh, do yeah. you have – now, I, I've got a couple things in the slide deck here that uh, I think everybody would be interested in seeing. But I want to show – I want to start off by showing a video that you've made, if, and then I want to jump into how complicated and hard it's going to be to make these amazing videos. And I, I have a feeling, knowing you, Rob, it's either going to be ultra complicated or incredibly easy. One We're going to have to see. So I'm going to show you guys real quick – uh, what this looks like, uh, an example video, so y'all can see. So here we go. So this is an example of a video. This is Everly Rings. It's very nice. I want one. Maybe two. I cut off some of the words. Sorry about that. 
So that's a great example. So this is another one of uh, clothing and what clothing looks like. Now, Rob, that's pretty amazing. So my question is that video that everyone just saw, is that it easy to get in like social media or post in other places? Yeah. So what, what, of course, once the video is created, we offer the ability to share on Facebook and share on YouTube right from the, uh, right from the website itself. And we're going to be adding a download option very soon. Um, but yeah, there, it's, it's integrated into sharing on Facebook, uh, right now and we're going to be expanding it in the next week or two as, as we roll it out the feature is just open to these users now um something okay. about, i want to mention about those videos the second video there i, I believe it was the ion performance video um that was actually created with just one image because a lot of the products we noticed uh, looking at you know some users they only have one image or they have two images so we we did a lot of effort to to kind of work the angles and, and make it so even if the user just has a single photo, they can actually still get like a pretty full feature looking video. Obviously, the more media you have, the better. But with one image, it'll still work. Which well, I, which yeah, is and I noticed with the rings, there was multiple different pictures that kind of. Right. So so how, my question now, Eileen and Juliet and Lee and, and everybody's all excited about this right now. But my question to you is how hard is it going to be to do this? How hard? Okay. So uh, if everyone's at their machine and uh, you got your hand like probably near your mouse pad or something like that and uh, get the left finger ready and just push it down one time. Okay. So then, I, I uh, click just one time? One time. Okay. Hang on. I just clicked. Did I make a video? And that's it. That's all I need to do. One click video creation. That's the goal. Now. Make it as easy as possible. That's amazing. So, so it's so easy. Lee says a, a cave woman could do it. That's what Lee just said. Cave person. Yes. A cave person. <laughs> okay. So, Rob, take us through this. Let's go into the nuts and bolts. And while you do this, guys, let's watch this amazing video one more time. Okay. I'm going to set up the screen share. Wrong way. <laughs> I want that jacket, Rob. I want that jacket. Okay. So here we are. Okay, uh, I got my screen up. Let me know when I'm when I'm live. You are there. Okay, so um, I, this is just a template that I opened up here, um, just to show it with some template data. But we have a stores template, a Prickles and Company template. You guys might have seen. And basically, once a product is added, and you have the information here in back office, this is again just from the templates. You got two images, um, and you've got some information. I renamed it Little Poker, and we got the price here. And then this is the new button right here, Create Promo Video. And this is the one click. So let's give it a spin. Give it a click and let it go. Actually, I already did this once. I want to show you guys. The first time experience is kind of important, so I'll, I'll jump over here. So the first time we're creating a video, uh, we actually give three versions of the video. Um, the videos are all created using the same content, the images, the text, um, and the store name and the website name. And then we have like an editing theme, which is kind of the look and feel of the video. Uh, so we have three here to pick from. You can push play. And I don't know if this is streaming well, but takes the content, kind of mixes it up like this. And then you can preview a different style here. dig in this music yeah but so so you have three to choose from and, and the goal is to obviously get that one click creation um but we we added a customized so you can come in here and all of those like, like i said were created with one image so let's change some of the information here um it's called cactus we'll put it on sale we'll make it in dollars this time uh we'll make it ten dollars and let's change the, uh, the call to action. You can change it to, you can, all of these are customizable. You have four fields of customizable text. Um, By the way, after that video, I'd probably pay $15 for that. 
<laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, we'll change it to 15. All right. Um, so this is the information here. Um, you can also add additional content. If you want to add in video, like for instance, some stock video or, or some additional images maybe that weren't in the product page, uh, you can add more information, more stuff here. So let's see if we have any, I don't know, some deserts or something. Uh, Burning Man, this will be interesting. <laughs> so we'll add a little video. Then you can go to design and you can change. Um, the, there's two colors that are used primarily in the video. So I'll change this to a nice cactusy green and a hot pink, a hot definitely. Pink. Mm, something up here in the fuchsia world. There you go. Pink. Oh no, usability issue there. A little pink and green. Cool. And for the fonts, we have a uh, open sans. Okay, so then you have some more styles here. Um, we are going to get some more descriptive icons here, but for right now, um, we, we have just these these words. Uh, so we'll say kids. Kids like cactuses. And then we have a music library. This is actually uh, really awesome. We have a bunch of licensed music um, that allow that you can use uh, without worries of like copyright infringement or anything getting taken down. Um, so put something here. Pretty fun. Definitely. Definitely fun. Okay, so then we apply in preview. So what's happening now is we're sending off the media to the engine. Uh, it's basically doing an analysis of the video, an analysis of the image, um, and kind of reconstructing the video around a script that we've given it. Now, now the script knows that this is a product, and this is so they know how to do a close up on the second scene or a wide shot on the first scene, and, and it's tailored to be uh, good for product usage. We're going to be expanding the video maker to other verticals, to uh, more generic solutions, and we have we have a lot of plans for it in the future. The stores is our just first outing on testing the technology and seeing how people like it and also getting feedback and seeing what people want because I can sit here and guess all day at what people want to be have added to this but it takes time it takes effort to do it and I'd rather uh, not guess and I'd rather actually get feedback from from you guys and from real users so that's why we're putting out this first version in stores uh, we released it just today actually to, to registered users about an hour ago about 50% registered users and it'll be rolling out more and more. Okay, so here's our final video uh, with all of our changes, the pink and the green, the new font, the new text, everything else. Boom, there you go. That's awesome, that's awesome. So that you answered one of the questions someone had. So. Uh, these will be eventually able to create outside of stores. So right there, when it says save video. Um, does does that keep it in your in your in your? Does that save it to the product? Right. So um, that's a that's a great question. So what's happening now? And this is another thing that we we are working on right now. There, we're rendering another version of the video, an HD version of the video. So once if a user has uh, has given us you know high quality photos, they're rendering an HD version of the video, and then it's saved to the media manager. Um, on the next screen, we're going to have the option to publish to Facebook and publish to YouTube. And coming very soon, there's going to be a button to add it right back to the product page. Very nice. Um, you know, we, we, as much as I love to, to get things just perfect before I put them out, we found that it's much easier to, to slowly release and kind of get our feedback and, and add as we go. So adding back to the product page is, is on the top of our list, as well as, you know, adding some more themes and some more customization options. Um, so once this finishes here, you'll see the share options. And we have the same syndication that you use in Wix Video that allows you to uh, publish to Facebook and publish to YouTube. And, uh, and then we're going to add also, pardon me, a download option so you could put it on Instagram, put it on whatever you'd like. Very cool. Very cool. So there you go. Find your video in the Media Manager, add product page, use it on your site, and share it with the world. Most importantly, to share it. One thing that actually you didn't see on here was the uh, the website address. So it does actually throw the web address at the end of the video. Uh, I think there was an issue here because I'm using a template, but I'm actually going to take a look at that. Um, so yeah, what do you guys think so far? I think that's amazing. Everybody seems to be really excited about that. Um, I really like the way that this is just taking pieces of images or images in, in, in general 
one image, and, and I like, for example, when we when we did the Ion Performance example, one image of a jacket was really, really, really amazing, right? And then you had a couple where there was a couple other images with the rings, and it looked different. And this with the cactus was really cool. And we picked some crazy colors, and it made it work, right? For sure. So yeah. that's that's pretty amazing. So so the question, uh, Juliet, it's it, this is this was in beta a week ago, but now Rob just told us that they're slowly rolling this. Uh, to users right now, so this is being slowly exposed. But yeah. if you're in the expert beta program, uh, you already have this. You, you, For you, sure. can, you can do this. Everybody's now. got it. I encourage you to try it. You know, poke around. Uh, tell me what you want to see added to it. You know, I know I know that there's a lot more, a lot of directions we could go. We have a long list of things we want to do, but I really want to hear what you guys think is going to give you the most value and what your customers are going to want, because that's the stuff I want to do first. That's really that's really incredible. Uh, I think I think this has been an amazing behind the scenes sneak peek of of what's coming. Uh, this is this is great. This is great. Rob, this has been really. Is there anything else you want to show us about this or? or? Um, I, I would say I, I just want to let you guys know that we are looking at. Uh, I saw mentioned on the group um, adding this for other verticals like um, like bookings and. Uh, and events, sorry, uh, bookings and events. And then also we're looking at more generic solutions, just a video if you want to create a video about an announcement or something like that. We're trying to take this format and apply it to different areas of Wix. Um, stores is our testing ground, and, and now once we got it up and got the technology working, what we're doing is looking for more places to put it within Wix and allow people to, to do, you know, engage with their users. So just so you know, that's, that's soon on the way. This is, I think this is really amazing and spot on and this is exactly what people want i think when people want a video the first thing they want a video of is of course their product so it's very right exactly palatable for for other people to, to click on and it's very interactive uh it, 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 i mean i just place an order for a 15 dollar cactus I, I don't know what else <laughs> more <laughs> all right well, Go, so, yeah, go right ahead. I was gonna say one, one other thing we're looking at is actually looking at like multiple multiple products or multiple things. You know, down the line, say somebody wants to advertise three or four items and just making kind of more involved videos. So, those are the kind of ideas. Anything that you guys want to hear, uh, I would love to hear from you. You can post in the in the group or you can uh, contact me through Brett or however the channels work. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, let's just keep the conversation going in in the group and uh, if. If you guys want to make some some recommendations on what you want to see this do next, maybe product mashups where it brings three or four sure. products together, that's we could probably do that, Rob. With I don't know how many clicks, one, about one, about one, one. about one. So far, we're running on one click, guys. One click. All right, Rob. Thanks so much. This has been amazing. This is a first. This is y'all's first sneak peek at Wix Video Maker. This is fantastic. So thanks everybody. Thanks for coming. Amazing. Thanks, Rob. Yeah.